what up keys, Andy Lip here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial, and today we're taking a look at Fish Eye. So I absolutely love this effect. If it's something that's up your street, you're gonna love this video. It's just a shader filter plugin that the Excel Draws made. But before we get into this, make sure you do like the video, also subscribe if uh, you want to see future tips and tricks. I'm dropping so much content at the moment to help streamers like elevate their channels. So please, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. Let's get on with it. Put your rock over the stone. Right, so before we get into this, we need to make sure we've got the OBS shader filter plugin already installed and also the shader filter that we're looking for. I won't be surprised if this gets added into the, the normal release of OBS sh shader filter because the same thing happened to the rounded rectangles video. If you've not seen that, check that out just there. So we're going to jump into OBS website. This link is going to be all down below. All the links will be, so don't worry. So this is OBS shader filter. We're just going to hit download. And then it's going to download a small folder, which is about four megabytes big. Open that up. Open the OBS-Studio folder, and you'll have the data and OBS plugins folders. Copy them both and go to your C drive. And then usually in program files or program files 86, mine's in program files, we're looking for OBS-Studio. Just here, and then we open that and press paste. So if you've already got this installed, this is how you update it. It will ask you update. Uh, it will ask you to replace the files in that destination. I don't need to worry about that because I've already got it installed right there. So I'm just going to hit the close. And then next, we need to download the actual shader filter. This might actually get added in an update. So you might not have to do this if you're downloading it quite recently. So we right click on this page and press save as. It's going to be called fisheye.shader. And we're going to press all files. So it saves it as a .shader file. Then we need to save it into the C drive into program files back where your OBS studio folder is in here and then we're going to go to data and then OBS plugins and then you should see one that says OBS shader filter hit examples and then we'll just save it directly into there I've already got it in um, saved there so it's, it's going to be yeah that's fine uh, it will ask for um, permissions to to ins uh, to save that file into that directory just hit yes on everything that's perfectly fine and then we need to jump into OBS. You're gonna have a bit of a OBS inception here, so apologies for that. I'm just gonna use studio mode, so we're gonna watch this screen on the left side. And I've created a nested scene just here, so I can apply some effects on my webcam without kind of messing everything up that you can see. So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger for now. Sorry if you can hear my dog bark. I'm gonna right click and hit filters. You'll be able to tell if you've installed it at the OBS shader filter correctly when you press the plus sign and you see user defined shader at the bottom just there. So we're going to use that. I'm going to call it fisheye. Hit next. And then you, you've got a couple of different options on here. All we need to use is load shader text from file. Your webcam will disappear. Don't worry about that or whatever source it is that you're using because we've not loaded an effect. We hit browse and I'm going to find fisheye because it automatically opens it in this folder. And then we can see I've got my little fishy eye just here. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Looks absolutely beautiful. There's a couple of settings that we can mess about with, uh, like the percentage. This is how far on either side it's going to be um, kind of moving around. And then we've got the power as well. So if I just leave that at 50, 50 kind of keeps it centralized. So that is usually the best thing. It depends on what effect that you're looking for. You can change the power as well. So if I put it on one, it only fish eyes it a little bit. Or maybe if I do two, you see it gets more and more until you go too far and then it starts doing some weird and wonderful things so i think 2.5 no 2.3 maybe no 2.2 it's probably the closest you can get being all wow <laughs> wonderful stuff so you can fiddle about with all these settings as much as you want to get the desired effect so that is exactly how to get a fish eye on any webcam Super simple to do. I'm just going to turn it off and zoom in. Hopefully, you love that. I want to see some of the cool things that you are doing with it. So, please, please showcase it in the future. And, uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments below if there's anything you want me to cover in any of these videos. Uh, I absolutely love the effects that everyone's making right now. Excel is nailing it. So, please go and show him some love on his... Um, on, I don't know, get his PayPal, drop him a couple of dollar bills, you know, because he, he's doing so much work at the moment and really innovating on the streaming platform. But yeah, 
that's the, that's it for me. Make sure you like the video, also subscribe, and put your rock in the stone. See you later, guys.